Coming up on Around Kern County, February is the month of love and exercise. We're sharing how you can join in on public health in Kern BHRS's Grounded in Health campaign. And calling all unincorporated residents, you can now apply to serve on the Kern County Measure K Citizens Oversight Committee. What you need to know about getting involved when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Applications are now open for Kern County's Measure K Citizens Oversight Committee. Five members will be selected from each district and appointed by the Board of Supervisors to serve on this committee for a two-year term. Measure K is Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure, which was passed by voters last year. Come April, Kern County will begin collecting a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern to address community priorities such as public safety and homelessness. If you've been thinking about getting involved in your local government, this is a great opportunity because our Citizens Oversight Committee is a very important part of this process. Each member will aid in the transparency of the revenue generated by Measure K and help to oversee compliance with the enacting ordinance. To apply and learn more, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. Applications close at the end of the month. This week, our Board of Supervisors declared February as Safely Surrendered Baby Awareness Month here in Kern County. This campaign is led by our Department of Human Services in partnership with local organizations who work together all month long to educate our community about this important law. The Safely Surrendered Baby Law helps vulnerable newborn infants at risk of abandonment by encouraging their parents or those in lawful custody to safely surrender them within 72 hours after birth, no questions asked. Once surrendered, these sweet babies can be then adopted and placed into loving homes. We are a family of three children. Our two are with a babysitter today. So two boys are now adopted daughter. My wife grew up around foster families and families who had adopted other children. And as Christians, we've always hoped to adopt one day because as the Bible says, we are to love in deed and in truth, not just in word or speech. Our daughter once was nameless and without a family. And now thanks to the safe surrender law, she's been grafted into our family tree forever. This law allows a mom to legally and anonymously surrender a baby which we should pause and realize that it takes tremendous courage to realize you don't have the ability or resources to care for your baby. And we will be forever grateful to her for giving our daughter life. Throughout Kern County, a newborn baby can be safely surrendered into the hands of staff at any hospital emergency room or fire station. Here in Kern County, 95 newborn babies have been safely surrendered since 2006. To learn more about this meaningful campaign, please visit kcdhs.org. February is also the month of exercise as part of Kern County's Grounded in Health campaign. This year's long initiative is led by public health and behavioral health and recovery services to help our residents find the balance and importance in taking care of both their mental and physical health. Exercise. It is so important, um, not just for our physical health, but our mental health. And we don't always think of the benefits to our mental health with exercise, but exercise improves our circulation, it increases our serotonin, it helps us sleep, it improves our mood, and it actually has proven research to improve depression, anxiety, so many other things. Exercise can get us outside, it can get us around people, and when we're doing those things, our mental health will automatically improve in a very meaningful way. There are very simple ways that you can exercise. Go for a walk. I mean, that sounds so simple, but if you go for a walk for 30 minutes, your heart rate is getting elevated, you're, that's considered exercising. That's something very simple. 
watch some simple videos on our website. We're gonna have a lot of ideas on our Kern groundedinhealth.com website where you can do exercises while you're riding in a car, um, while you're at work, while you're at home with simple tools that you have at your fingertips when you're in those different environments that will make exercising easy for you. If you are implementing the themes that we are sharing with you every single month, you're gonna see an improvement in your physical health and your mental health. When it comes to exercise, small steps make a huge difference. Um, don't overwhelm yourself, start small, but really just um, do what feels reasonable and then keep going. It is a perfect time to be out there, to be moving. The weather is beautiful and it's a great day to start taking steps to improving your whole well-being. Grounded in Health's theme is a tree with each root, trunk, and branch offering a tip to keep our community feeling their best. With this month's focus being exercise, Public Health and Kern BHRS are hosting tons of free events to help residents work up a sweat, such as this Zumba class held at their headquarters earlier this week. To follow along with Grounded in Health, access important tips and resources, as well as stay up to date, please visit kerngroundedinhealth.com. And we're ending today with an exciting wrap up of the 25th annual State of the County. Anna Marie Odo has those details. Last week, Kern County, in partnership with the Kern Economic Development Corporation, hosted more than 600 community members at the Kern County Fairgrounds for the 2023 State of the County. This was the first time we were able to gather back in person since the COVID-19 pandemic to celebrate this annual event. From debuting a new video thanking our local oil workers to highlighting the many accomplishments of our diverse communities in agriculture, aerospace, and energy, Kern County was proud to shine a spotlight on what we do best. This all led up to our newly elected third district supervisor and this year's chairman of the board, Jeff Flores, delivering the State of the County Address. What a pleasure it is to welcome you all to tonight's 25th annual State of the County back in person. I'm honored to be here before you tonight, not only as the newest elected member of the Board of Supervisors, but also as this year's chairman. If you'd like to watch the 2023 State of the County in full, just visit our YouTube channel, Official Kern County, and click on the video you see there on your screen. We'd like to thank our residents, media partners, and community leaders for their support in making this event such a success. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time. 